Well, you guys got another video. The new Google Chrome looks absolutely amazing. If you want to check it out for yourself, then I'll show you how to do it in this video. It's reversible, but if you do want to check out the new Google Chrome 117, then I'll show you how to do it. First off, let's open up our Google Chrome here. I'm just going to quickly uh, install it and set it up because this is a brand new install of Google Chrome. You will need to go into the Google Chrome flags to make some changes, but I'll show you how to do that. So go to the three dots and go to settings here. Once you're inside settings, click on about Chrome. You should see here 117. If you do see 117, then you're on the right build and you're ready to go. So what we need to do here, once we've done this, is go up to the top left hand side where it says Chrome colon forward slash forward slash settings forward slash help and just remove the front part here and put flags in like so and then push enter. So you should see something like this saying experiments. So from here in the search flags, what you can do is do a search for the brand new features and you can enable them. So first off, type in here Chrome refresh. You should see two options, Chrome refresh 2023 and Chrome web UI refresh 2023. You can enable these two features. It does work on Mac, Windows, Linux and Chrome OS as well. So what you're going to do is go to the default section and use the drop down arrow and put this on to enabled. If you have any issues and you want to reverse it, just do exactly the same in reverse and put it back to default. Now, don't worry, uh, Chrome will be rolled out to everyone eventually in the future. So if you want to have a look at this just for now, you can do. If you want to see the next one, just type in here, customize Chrome side panel, and you should see it pop up right here in the experiments. And in the default section, again, just make this enabled and that is it. You're ready to go. Now, there is a couple of other optional ones here, but I'm going to leave those out for this video. But basically, do these two here and you should be good to go. Then all you need to do here is relaunch your browser. And you can do that with the relaunch button down on the bottom right. Once you've done that, you can then close the browser off and open it again. And you should now have the very latest version of Chrome 117. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, like I said, if you want to change this back, just put it back to default like this and you should be good to go. So let's now close the browser off and reopen it. And there we are. The browser is now open. And I think you'll agree that looks absolutely lovely with these rounded edges. It seems to have gone for the Windows 11 look on the theme. On the top left hand side, you now have a little drop down arrow where you can get recently closed and open tabs and some other things up on the top left hand side here. As you can see, search tabs. Also, when you open this up right here inside your settings, you also have the version right here. We also have our privacy and security. You can go through here and take care of your privacy by going through the privacy guide here. And it will ask you whether you want to enable some of the newer features that have been added to this browser. So all you need to do here is just basically go through here and select what you like. You can take your time and read all this stuff. I'm just showing you basically the overview of this new browser. You can toggle some of this stuff on or you can leave it as default depending on what you want to do. I'm just going through here quickly. You've got your standard protection and enhanced protection as you've always had. And again, you can block the third party cookies uh, in incognito. And you can see here block all third party uh, cookies as well. Got to be careful when you select some of these because it could stop websites working correctly if you get too aggressive with blocking all cookies. So you just have to uh, bear that in mind, okay? Again, you can run a quick security check by checking now here and it will tell you exactly what you've missed out. And you can see password manager has not been set up. And if you want to set that up, you can do. But going through here, I just want to go through some of the other settings. So up on the top right hand side here now, you've got this little tab here down that gives you access to this area here. And again, you can change this to whatever you like. These are all your bookmarks here. On the drop down, you've got your reading list, bookmarks, history and search inside here. And that is your area. That color is not a very nice color that I've got on there. So I need to change that. And I'll quickly show you how to change all of your themes and background of the actual uh, browser itself because it set it to a nasty brown color, which looks absolutely horrendous. But let me go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. So there's your drop down arrow here. So let me quickly go back and uh, create another tab here and we can close this off here and I'll show you how to make changes to your themes. Now let's open up the browser again and down the bottom right, we can see there is a little tiny pen there and this will give you access to the appearance and you can change the colors to whatever you like, whether you want it for device or whether you want the uh, dark theme or light theme, whatever it is, and you can change the color scheme to whatever you like to match your computer if you want to do that. 
Again, there's some other bits down the bottom here. And uh, again, if you want to change the actual theme itself, you can go into here and make this solid color if you want to by just clicking on the solid color, make it whatever solid color you like. And again, you can have this rotating daily if you wanted to by toggling on the rotate daily. Let me just quickly show you that on there. That's it right there. And that's the rotate daily and it will rotate this color daily for you. If you want to uh, have it as more of a theme, you can do that depending on what you like. There's some Asian uh, type theme here and uh, we can go on to which I like the landscapes. So go into landscape and you can just basically select whatever one you want and have this rotating daily like so. And there's plenty of them on here to choose from. You just click on these and it will let you rotate through some of these images, which are really nice images on here. Now, again, this update will be pushed out to you automatically. So you don't have to go in there and do exactly what I'm showing you here. I'm just showing you how to get access to it if you want to look at it. The menu system has had the rounded effect and does look quite nice. You have access for your profiles right here as well and all your history downloads and all the extensions and things like that. You can manage all your extensions and visit the web store if you want to. And this will take you to the web store. We can add on all of your extensions. I'm not a big extension user. I don't use tons of extensions because I find that just slows down the browsing experience. But there is people out there that do like uh, the uh, extensions and they like to add a ton of extensions onto their browser. But let's go ahead and click on the web store here and I'll quickly show you, uh, you can see here, by just adding these in, you can just click on them and add and it will add these in and you can just add them into your browser like so. Very simple. And what this will do is it will add another little icon up here as well and you can click on this and it will open up the extensions area here as you can see here. And again, that is the actual new browser that are being pushed out to the general public very soon. And I think it's a massive improvement compared to the previous uh, generations of the Chrome browser. And uh, again, everything has had a massive overall uh, on this. And I think it just ties in with your Windows theme very nicely, whereas before it was a bit different. So you can close these tabs off here. And again, if you want to reverse this and put it back, if you want to have a little quick look at it, you can do and have a little play around with it and uh, see what sort of new features there is in there because there's quite a bit inside here. But if you want to just wait, it will be rolled out to the general public very soon. But if you do want to reverse it, just go back into the flag section and put this back to default and uh, you will get updated with this new browser very, very soon. But um, again, uh, I can't stress enough. Uh, be careful when you're going into that flag section because it can break your browser and you have to be careful because these are experimental uh, sections that uh, Google are working on and they haven't quite uh, finished the actual product itself. It's still in work in progress. So be careful when you do uh, use these types of browsers. Again, this browser is not by no means finished yet. If you want to remove this on the screen, you just go on to here and close the search bar. Again, this is a translucent search bar that uh, some people like to have and they can search straight from here rather than open up the browser and it will open up automatically. I find it quite useful, but it is right in the center of the screen there. So that is the Google Chrome 117. If you want to have a little play around with it, maybe put it into a virtual box and, and do it in there like I'm doing here rather than on my main system, uh, which I use my Google Chrome for. I use Google Chrome all the time. It's probably one of the best browsers on the market. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.